In this video, we head to a rural area on the Michigan-Indiana border known as Michiana. An area of wide open farmland and beautiful lakes with great private campsites. And we head to Elkhart for some helpful modifications to our RV. And finish the trip with a taste of what locally is known as Amish crack. Come on along. We're in southwestern Michigan, not far from the Indiana border. And we're still shaking down our uh, our new uh, Leisure Travel Vans Wonder, trying to learn a little bit more how it works, making sure it's a good fit, that we understand everything. And we figure there's no better way to do that than get away for a weekend of camping. Gonna get away a couple of days. Uh, we're going over near Elkhart, Indiana. And we, RV capital of the world. Yep. So we're gonna say just on the Michigan side of that Indiana border, there's a bunch of little lakes there. And we found a campground or two that we want to check out. And um, you know, we're down in Elkhart a lot because uh, that's where our stories take us. So uh, we figured we'd check this out. We've never really camped in this area. So looking forward to camping in a new area and seeing a part of Michigan where we normally don't spend much time. We're here. This is Goff Lake. This You've arrived nice. at your destination. We certainly have. So, yeah, look at there's the lake. Oh, how fun. It looks like a bunch of uh, boats. Boats. This is very nice. Very pleasant. It said that there's 36 lakes within six miles of this little community that we're in. It's like they're all houseboats. Yeah, there's a couple of good old fishing boats out yeah. there. So what's for dinner? We're going to have a salad with chicken and some broccoli, and it's going to be a great dinner. You got a helper there with you. I certainly do. I've got Bo's undivided attention. Oops, oh, maybe we found something over there to look at. Do you like it here? Is this a pretty good place? Boy, this old Coleman grill has really served us well, hasn't it? It certainly does. This is our dinner most nights. <laughs> <laughs> chicken, grilled chicken. chicken. Lots and lots of chicken. If we get to the store, I can buy something else. I was going to get to the store yesterday and uh, didn't make it. This is pretty good, though. Okay, we've got the salad done, chicken's done, broccoli's done. I guess I'll put this back up so we can sit down. There we go. Lock that up. 
Ooh, broccoli, it looks like it got pretty done. Well done, broccoli. This, I guess, is a healthy meal, huh? This is a healthy meal. Bo says he wouldn't know. But well, Bo's gonna get some broccoli. Do you give broccoli to the dog? Yes, I do. Helps fill him up. In fact, I'll get his dish and I'll put some on there and he'll be a happy boy. And of course we have enough chicken. For tomorrow. For tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Well, no. <laughs> It won't last that many days. A little butter. A little butter. This is, by the way, a pretty keto friendly. It's a very keto friendly. Because you're doing keto for one month, right? Yeah. You can live with that for a month. The reason I'm doing keto is COVID-19. I got the 19 pounds. I think you got keto 20. <laughs> yeah, maybe and I got more. keto 5 or 10. I don't know. Well, we're doing something about it. We're trying. Oh, Eating a lot of chicken. There you go, Bo. Broccoli. snowbirds people who go to Arizona and perhaps Florida when it's uh, cold and they want someplace cool to come in the summer 98 spots and 92 of them are for seasonal rental now the seasonal spots well they're the folks who grab all that prime golf lake frontage golf is a small little tiny lake it's actually pretty good fishing there but uh, it is so quiet and peaceful here. It's so well manicured. Look at the grass. I mean, green grass in a campground. You don't find that anywhere. These are the transient sites. Six of them, beautiful grass, very pleasant, fire pits, picnic tables, water, electricity. There's ours, sites like back there. fun little hiking trail and the seasonal people tell us you can get easily a two mile hiking trail. Bo says let's do it twice. He's looking for bunnies because there are bunnies everywhere here. Mike said it was peaceful but you can't hear road noise right here. You can hear the birds and uh, it is very peaceful and pleasant. So Bo is taken to uh, RVing, he loves it, and he's taken to our new RV pretty well, but we have one problem, and uh, it's right here. There is just not as, n as much room as we'd like for Bo to come up front where he prefers to be. So we need to keep him in the back, and he's always like pushing his way, trying to get back in there, and it's, it's been a, a real problem, and I'm not quite sure what the solution is. You know, I've been thinking about this, and I'm wondering if maybe we can talk to Steve at Organized OB. And like the netting that we have up here to keep things in, maybe we could get something like that to keep Bo out of the front area where he's trying to get. So maybe if I send him an email, that would work. Why don't you send him a video email? Better yet, we can show him the space, give him some measurements, and see what he can come up with. Hi Steve, Jennifer here. First off, let me say how much we really like all your organized OB that you did for us. I I like them, they're, they're perfect. But we've got one more situation, one more problem that we think maybe you can help us with. We have Bo, who likes to sit in between us, and he used to be able to do that. 
but we don't have enough room now for him to be there. And he gets himself pretty uncomfortable and can't turn around and it's a dangerous situation. So we wanna keep him back. And I'm wondering if uh, you can think of some kind of netting that we could put across this opening space. I think it's about 15 inches. And it doesn't have to go all the way to the floor. I think, you know, maybe a couple, two feet, maybe even 18 inches, right about that, so that he'll get discouraged and he won't come forward. He's pretty good about laying back there, but I, netting, he can see through, he knows we're here, and just something to keep him back. And then I need to hook it up, and I, I don't know if we would hook it up to the walls. That's... Uh, Quite a distance. That is about 57 inches. Okay, so I don't know if it has to go to the wall. I'll need this so that I can unhook it easily without having to be a contortionist. So <laughs> I bet you can figure something out that we could use. Just something to block this off and discourage our Norwegian elk hound from trying to come up front. And I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Hey, Mike, I got a response from Steve, and he thinks he's found a solution to our problem. Oh, yeah? What does he, uh, what does he say? Well, here we go. Hey, Mike and Jennifer. Glad to hear from you. Glad to hear that the Nets and organizers are doing well. So, you want to keep Bo out of the driver's area. Well, I think I've got a solution. So, why don't you come over Thursday, and uh, I'll present you with a couple of ideas, and we'll see what works. See you Thursday. Be safe. All right, let's go. Steve, it's nice to finally meet you. Nice to finally meet you, and uh, I think I've got some, something to solve your issue that you wanted to deal with. So it's great seeing you. Let's go measure some stuff. And Generator's down with the AC. Bowie's <laughs> waiting for it. And All right. Let's go do it. Let's, let's go. go do it. So what we've got here is a, a regular barrier stretch net, and then we used um, carabiners. You can get it at a hardware store. We'll hook through the, the headrest here, come right there, and then you've got little hooks down at the bottom, which you can just push down. Oh, well, that's supposed to, there we go, just like that. Like that, come right off. So you put the top ones on first, then you grab your hardware and just get it underneath that latch. And then the last one, underneath that latch. Sure, I can't see it, there we go. All right, so when I wanna get in the back, I'm going to unhook probably that one to be the easiest one to reach. And then I'll do this. Well. If you're from here and you want to get in the back, I would just do undo the top one. Okay, top okay. first. And then that will loosen this that. one down here. Okay. And then you can just bring that over and hook it up here if you want. Mm -hmm. Leave it there. And All then right. when, when you want to put it back on, you take the top one off, bring it over, which will give you the tension that you'll need to pull for these. You hook that one up there and grab this. Oh, don't let us bother you. Yeah. Hook <laughs> that one right there. All right, and we have a barrier. And you got a barrier. Look at that. And, and I bet in time, I won't even have to hook the bottom. I yeah. bet just this being here, he'll think he can't come forward. I'm glad Bo didn't hear it, that he was sleeping. <laughs> That's awesome, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is really So nice. we should call this the bow barrier. The bow barrier. Because <laughs> yeah. you know everybody else is going to want this. Right. The bow barrier. The bow barrier. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it worked. 
it perks very nicely. Bo is uh, a little upset. Yeah, but he's sitting where we want him to sit, and is. that is it is the awesome thing, right? That's perfect, absolutely perfect. So Steve's solution worked. The bow barrier. Uh, he tried to. Uh, I didn't have the camera running, and uh, as soon as we started off, he tried to push his way in and around, and one time he gave up. And now he's sitting where we want him to sit. We can hook up a little harness with him there and uh, anchor it to the top of my uh, seat belt, and uh, that will just kind of keep him in one place. But uh, there is one problem with that seat. Now, we test drove a Wonder last year, and where we want Bo to sit, they had an ottoman that slid out, and I thought, perfect. It was kind of like a piece of wood with just like a little frame that it pulled out, and it extended it, and uh, it would have been a perfect platform for him. We, we could have put a harness on him, and uh, it would have been just perfect. But this year we bought our Wonder, and all set to uh, get Bo his special seat, and it's not there anymore. So we have a problem. We've got to figure out where we're going to get that extension for that chair so that we can use it for Bo. And also, it's something that I planned on using in case we had a grandchild with us. A short grandchild, but a grandchild. Yeah, it would be, it would be great for that to say, but so I don't know. Leisure just quit making them, I guess. And that was actually one of the reasons we wanted the Wonder, because that would have been the perfect place for Bo. That is, that is a reason why we so, wanted the Wonder. We, we never one, dreamt. We solved one problem with the bow barrier net. He's not coming up here. But the second problem is we need him to sit back there where we can get him harnessed in safely. Um, but we got to figure out how to build that extension back. Maybe a carpenter? Maybe we hire a carpenter? I don't know. Well, it's, it gives, maybe, us, gives us something to do. Maybe one of our viewers out there has an idea. Help us out here. Because I sure am not mechanically inclined. But uh, next step is to get Bo to sit there. Right, right there. behind the driver. Since we're coming up to Elkhart, isn't that where there's a really good bakery that makes such good donuts that everybody calls them Amish crack? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's called the Rise and Roll Bakery and it was started by a Amish couple. Uh, you know, 20 years ago or so, they started selling bacon stuff and selling it uh, on their porch. They wanted to, they said, be a blessing to people and people started coming and then they opened a bakery shop and then it was sold, but it still preserves the value. And, but I'm on keto, so I can't eat that great stuff. Well, I'm not on keto. I'd like to try a couple of them, maybe. Uh, See what they taste like. Oh, man. All right, we'll do it for our viewers because they will want to know about this if they're ever in Elkhart. We're both making a sacrifice for our viewers. I'm making a sacrifice. I can't eat it. But well, I'm making a sacrifice. I need it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gain some weight. It's um, if I remember right, it's the cinnamon caramel donut. It is so good. They call it Amish crack. All right. All right, because I love you, and we love our viewers. We'll go there. I can't wait to try this. This is the stuff that you want right here. Uh oh, they're out of some of them. This is the one that comes strongly recommended, the cinnamon caramel. So now the moment of truth. These are the ones that are so good, they're known as Amish crack. They are cinnamon caramel. These are some frosted jelly ones. Mm -hmm. And these are just some good old- Bear claws. Bear claws. And then the girl at the shop said, this is a bestseller. Ah, but this that's is what, the one that has the reputation. That's the one. So there you go, my dear. Okay. Do you mind if I cut it? Because I want to try a couple. 
and I don't want to eat all of these. Oh man. I know. So wonderful, but I don't want to eat that much. All right, here we go. Smells good. I like cinnamon, I like caramel. These really are good. Yeah. Mm hmm. I might eat the whole thing. <laughs> oh, man. Mm hmm. And uh, everybody's going to say you're going to try the other ones, but uh, you're not going to cut them. You're not going to eat all those. Mm hmm. What are you going to try next? I'm going to try this because she said this is the best seller. What is it? I don't know. I should have written down the name. Well, you know that everybody's going to say, well, what is it? What's on Can't the top of it? It looks like that's chocolate. It looks like candy. It's, it's like I don't, candy. It's, yeah, it looks like caramel or something. Okay, Some here kind we of go. candy. Hmm. This is better. This mm -hmm. is better than Amish crack? Mm-hmm. To me. There you go. Mm -hmm. The official taste test from the Rise and Roll Bakery, Elkhart, Indiana. Everybody needs to go there whenever you're in Elkhart. Now I'm curious about that one. That one's lemon. It was the only jelly that they had, so I, I got lemon. lemon. Uh -huh. Well, let's look lemon at it. Lemon jelly. Let's look at it. Okay. Nobody, I'm not going to be able to give these away after I've gotten into them all, and I sure don't want to eat them all. And you're keto. Keto means no sugar. Uh, let's not talk about it. And it's not worth breaking all the days that you've been keto to go off it with sugar. Yes, it is. <laughs> There's the, where's the lemon? There it is. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I like jelly donuts. I like my favorite. Actually, custard are my number one. I'm going to get powder all over me. And the verdict on the sugar-covered lemon-filled donuts. My favorite. <laughs> no. If I give you a, a fourth kind, that would be your favorite. So the crack with cinnamon, the yeah, Amish crack, which is caramel cinnamon. Mm -hmm. The candied, looks like toffee almost, mm -hmm. candied glazed donut. And, and the jelly-filled donut. And everybody knows what a bear claw everybody is Everybody like. knows what a bear claw is. Because I like jelly donuts, this is my favorite. This is a little too rich for me, and uh, this is very good. Amish crack. Mm hmm I turned the camera off, and she immediately cut into that one, so. Well, you can't go wrong with a bear claw. Ooh, that's bear good. claws What's are really it? good. Look at that. It's got, like, little layers of stuff in it. Well, cinnamon, and usually, well, usually cinnamon for sure. Nuts sometimes. But um, you can't go wrong with a bear claw. You gotta show me eating everything. <laughs> Are there no secrets? Now, Bo is having an absolute fit because he knows we're eating. He smells it. He's outside and he wants some. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> so they're all good, basically. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. According to Jennifer. According to me. Well, that was a lot of fun visiting Michiana and seeing that little lake and all those great people and making the bow barrier. <laughs> Michiana, I didn't know there was such a word, so now I know that makes sense. And we've never camped there before, and there's so many little lakes and everything over there. I'm glad we finally got to go there. Yeah, and uh, in the process, we made a bow barrier. I'm not sure how bows are going to feel about it, but... Uh, the thing I can't wait to do is to go back and try that Amish crack as soon as you <laughs> let me get off this dang keto diet. Yeah, let's see how fast we can put all those pounds back on. <laughs> hey, I can do it. I could do it. Hey, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Would you do us a favor? Give us a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. When you do that, be sure and click the bell icon and then you'll be notified when we have new videos online. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.